All right, welcome back to the channel. It's CW Studio bringing you a new deck, uh, Mono White. You guys should be pretty familiar with the uh, types of decks I've played in the past. Um, this one's a little bit different, um, more focused on taxing the opponent, uh, making it harder for um, Mono Black, uh, other Mono White board wipe control decks to be able to um, to race us. Uh, so. With that, let's get into the card deck. Uh, I'll talk about what we're playing and why we're playing it, and uh, then we can. After that, we can get into the matchmaking. All right. So we've got two copies of Hopeful Initiate. Um, it's got training. So whenever you attack with another creature that's power is greater than uh, Hopeful Initiate, put a plus one plus one counter on this creature. Also, um, you can pay three to remove two plus one plus one counters from a creatures that we control, and we can destroy an artifact or enchantment. Um, so pretty good against those enchantment decks, uh, being able to remove ruined cards from uh, from their uh, creature, and removing things like uh, lifelink or trample. Uh, two copies of Paladin class for one. Spells your opponent cast during your turn cost one more. Uh, and then we can pump it to level two for three mana and creatures you get plus one plus one. And then pump it to five mana for level three. And whenever you attack until end of turn, target attacking creature gets plus one plus one for each other attacking creature and gains double strike. So able to help out close some matches. Uh, two portable holes, uh, exile non-land permanent opponent controls with mana value two or less. Uh, Intrepid adversary, lifelink for two mana, and then we can pay two mana any number of times and put additional plus one plus one counters on all of our other creatures that we control. Uh, Lunamark aspirant, uh, at the beginning of your combat, put a plus one plus one counter on target creature you control. Really good for plussing up some of our other creatures. Thalia, um, first strike, and for two mana, and non-creature spells cost one more to cast. So one of these cards that uh, that taxes the opponent. <clears throat> Archon, for three mana, flying. Each player can't cast more than one spell each turn. In non-basic lands, your opponent's control enter the battlefield tap. So taxing their mana by forcing them to uh, for mana to come and play to tapped and then only allowing them to be able to cast one um, spell per turn and then we've got four copies of brutal cathar whenever this creature enters the battlefield or transforms into brutal cathar exile target creature and opponent controls uh, so that's really good it's a 2-2 and then uh, if we go to nighttime we transform it, it gets a, it's a 3 3 with first strike, pay ward for 3 life in order to be able to target it. And then we've got uh, Redain, God of Worthy, Flying and Vigilance for 3 mana. Snow lands your opponent uh, controls, enters the battlefield tapped. Non creature spells your opponent's cast with mana value 4 or greater, cost 2 more to cast. And then we can also play the other side as a legendary artifact. And if we do, we can prevent one damage uh, to creatures and ourselves. And then um, whenever another permanent you control becomes a target of a spell and ability, then an opponent controls counter that spell or ability unless its controller pays one. So taxing them in that manner. Uh, and then we have Adeline, uh, Vigilance for three mana. Uh, she is a power equal to the number of creatures that we control. And whenever you attack for each opponent, create a 1-1 one, one white human creature token that's tapped and attacking as well. And then we have Skyclave Apparition. Uh, whenever it enters the battlefield, exile up to one target non-land, non-token permanent. You don't control with mana value 4 or less. So being able to remove threats off the board... Uh, is highly desirable in this deck and then we have three copies of the wandering emperor and uh, so this is really great it's she's got flash she's a planeswalker and then if we flash her in during her our opponent's turn while they're attacking 
we can minus two her and exile um, target tap creature. We gain two life. Otherwise, her plus one ability is pretty great. Being able to put a plus one, plus one counter onto one target creature, it gains first strike until end of turn. And then her minus one, able to create a two, two white samurai token uh, with vigilance. And then we've got one copy of Cave of the Frost Dragon uh, for five mana. It becomes a 3-4 dragon with flying. And then two copies of Crawling Barons. Pay four mana. And we can add two plus one plus one counters on the Crawling Barons. And allow it to be able to attack in. So able to close out some matches with having some creature lands in the deck as well. Um, so 60 cards total. We have 24 lands. To be specific, uh, this is the deck. Uh, without further ado, let's go jump into best of one uh, standard and see how we do. Get our paladin class. Nothing to play. Pass our turn. Get our uh, archon. Our paladin class going into three. Upper class swinging. And that's game. All right, this looks pretty good. We'll keep it. Is hopeful in the ship. <laughs> Didn't get a two drop, but uh, that's okay. We've got plenty of uh, three drops that we can play. We'll play our Archon. Um, <clears throat> can't play more than one spell and non-basic lands that are my opponent enters the battlefield tap. So.
All right, we're gonna brew Cathar that. And that's a scoop. But we'll take that as a victory. All right, this looks good. Keep. Get our paladin class out. Okay, exiled our paladin class, that's fine. Get out our intrepid adversary. Got our Archon. Oh wow, okay. Swing in for three. Gain three life. If we're good to just um, keep holding. I think we'll play a Brutal Cathar. No attacks here, um, just because he has that uh, den of bugbear. Or if we could attack, he could uh, he could block. Pay to pump. Right, two one ones. Fine. And turn. Try to get out our Redain. End our turn. Unfortunately, he's got Hallbreaker Horror out and uh, we don't really have anything we can do against that. Alright, we're going to portable hole the circle of confinement. Alright, able to take his Hallbreaker Horror away from him.
the pay. I'm gonna swing in with Redain. The reason why we did that is because he had uh, all of the Storm Giants and Den of the Bugbear, so we didn't want to lose um, our Moon Range Brute um, by blocking and being blocked by a 7-7. Seven, seven. So, and then he would get his Hallbreaker Horror back. We want, we definitely don't want that. And now he would need to pay three life in order to um, <clears throat> target him. So unless he's got some sort of a board wipe, um, he's not going to be able to get his Hallbreaker Horror back. Okay, so he's gonna get a circle. Okay. Interesting choice. Um, surprised he didn't take the intrepid adversary, but I mean, it, it doesn't really matter. Get the uh, wandering emperor. <laughs> and he's seen enough. Yeah, this looks good. A hopeful initiate. No attacks. Get rid of that with our Skyclave. Spellbinder. <laughs> Unimark. Uh, let's see. We play Thalia. No attacks.
Bring you in with Redain. Block there, we'll take the eight. Play this as a legendary artifact, prevents one damage. Fortunate, there's not much we can do about that. That's lethal. Keep this. And we'll get Thalia out. Get Redain out. Going in. Snakes can bail. I, you know, I'd rather see it come out now than later. No attacks here, we'll just hold. Wandering up for uh, 
anyone who harms my people must He's contend a with me. <laughs> you are not much of a roadblock. I think we skyclave the old world troll while they're tapped out. Put a counter on the Dane. The edge in this fight. Swing in for three. <laughs> Put a counter on Adeline. Remember your training. On to fourteen. Okay, here. Strike fast and strike hard. Swing with Redain. No blocks. We'll uh Until next time then. We'll live without it. All right, he's got one card left in his hand and Seven mana at his disposal, so I'm kind of curious as to what else he's going to do. Try to get his old growth roll. Alright, that worked. Pump up the adversary. Swing in.
Alright, it's going down. Alright, I'm Okay, pack leader. And that's it. Swinging in. Game. We got him. That was a good game, though.